Wolfpack. I'm Marie Milanes. And I'm Hara Sakib. Today is Tuesday and we are here with your distant learning news. Attention AP students, make sure to check your emails to obtain your AP IDs needed to enter to your AP test starting next week. And now let's pass on over to Edward for this week's music review. <sighs> Can never get the part right. Anyways, what's going on guys? My name is Edward Agapito, and this is Music Review, where I review some of the top hits and newest songs from various artists in the music industry. Last time, we reviewed Travis Scott and Kid Cudi's new single, but in this episode, we're actually going to be going over a whole album, that is, Drake's new album, Dark Lane Demo Tapes. People can say whatever they want, but whether they like it or not, Drake is definitely one of the biggest names in modern rap music today, with easily recognizable hits such as Life is Good, Money in the Grave, to classic throwbacks like Best I Ever Had, and Hold On We're Going Home. It's no wonder how Drake has managed to stay relevant to this day when he has had back-to-back -back hits within every single album that he puts out. Now, onto the album. Dark Lane Demo Tapes was released on May 1st, but even before that, Drake released the following 5 songs from the album, War, Desires, When To Say When, Chicago Freestyle, and the viral hit, Tussie Slide. And even with those songs released, a number of songs from the album were leaked on various music streaming platforms, including YouTube and SoundCloud. A total of 14 songs make up the whole album, featuring trending artists such as Young Thug, Chris Brown, Future, and none other than the album teasing Cardi. This album was made possible by a number of producers, including Pierre Bourne, Southside, Plain Pat, and many others. After giving a listen to the album, it's safe for me to say that there were a few songs that just really didn't strike a chord with me. However, this project also had its fair share of songs that really brought me back to Drake's roots. Songs like Losses, Not You Too, Deep Pockets, and many others like Pain 1993 and Time Flies are definitely landing right in my playlist. Overall, this album wasn't that bad of a listen. It was undoubtedly a really versatile project, a nice mix of different genres including R&B, rap of course, and a little bit of UK drill. If you have any suggestions on what singles or albums I should review next, feel free to DM me at here on Instagram. Well, that's all I have for you for this week, Wolfpack. I'll see you later. Now let's see what yearbook has to say. Hey guys, I'm Lulu and I'm your photo editor for this year's yearbook and I'm here to answer some questions that you may have. So as of right now, yearbooks are still on sale for $90. You can purchase your yearbook at www.jostens.com slash yearbook. And here's the link. So as of right now, we don't have a concrete idea on how we want to distribute books, but what we do know is we want to start distribution in late May. We want to find the safest and most efficient way to get you your books during this coronavirus outbreak. If you have any more questions regarding the yearbook, please don't hesitate to DM us on Instagram at cohsybk, text one of the editors, or email our advisors. Thanks guys, stay safe. Make sure to buy your soon. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Irene Milanes. And I'm Hara Sakib. Remember the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Remember to stay safe, Wolfpack.